Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. And uh, it is, goes back, as a matter of fact, to extremely fundamental things. That there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of The Gemma Diaries. So, I'm actually filming this intro on Saturday morning. Um, the day I'm actually going to be ending the vlog. So this is kind of confusing my little brain quite a lot. But basically, at the beginning of the week, I don't know why, but I completely forgot to film an intro. Like, I kind of just went straight into the vlog, and I hate that. Like, I always like to kind of say hello and, you know, just do a proper introduction. So this vlog is a little bit different to normal. This vlog's going to go from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's not like a full week just because my week has been pretty like mad this week so I didn't really have a chance to vlog the entire week but um probably in a minute it's gonna go back to me having no eyelashes on because I only actually got these done yesterday how much of a difference does it make when you wake up with eyelashes on like I don't look as terrible as normal this morning I kind of like held the camera up and I was like well you don't actually look kind of as bad as you normally do first thing in the morning Gemma. Also, can we please talk about the jersey bedding? I am so happy that it's got a little bit like colder now and it's cold enough to have the jersey bedding on. That makes me so happy. So anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this week's vlog. Get cozy, get a cup of tea, get the snacks, get under the blankets, light the candles, you already know the drill and we're gonna throw it back to Wednesday, as weird as that sounds. So, my loves, it is a little bit later on in the day now. I have spent my morning filming a Zara haul, which is really weird, because you're gonna see that before you see this. So, if you haven't already seen my Zara haul, I will link it in the description box below. So, I am just about to pop into town. I feel like I need a few bits for Croatia next week. And I also need to... I haven't told you guys this yet, but tomorrow, me, Sophie, and Sophie's mum are having a little early Christmas day. Um, I mean, it's not really like a Christmas day. It's like a mini Christmas, I guess. So, Sophie's mum's cooking us Christmas dinner, which, oh my god, is insane and I'm so excited about. And we're also doing each other's stockings. So, I'm doing Sophie's stocking and Sophie's mum's stocking. So, I need to go to town to, like, find some stocking fillers, which is bizarre because it's the beginning of September, but... Nevertheless, I'm really bloody excited about it because I love buying stuff for people. I love Christmas shopping. So yeah, I'm going to go and have a look around all the shops for some like cute little stocking fillers. We've given each other a £50 limit because I know what me and Sophie are like. We go a little bit crazy. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of like some, some cute little bits that I can get because stockings do actually add up, especially if you want to get nice things. So I'm going to go have a little browse. I'm doing this thing again where I'm wearing like winter clothes because I'm longing to wear winter clothes and I'm slightly concerned that it's quite hot out there. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing my oversized hoodie from Primark which I am obsessed with. Like it's the best fitting hoodie in the whole world. This was from my recent Primark haul. And then I'm also wearing these leather look leggings which are from Zara which were in my Zara haul. And then I'm wearing the shoes that if you watched my last vlog you will know I was a bit unsure on these. Now I actually love them. Like I don't know it's making me want to buy actual Balenciagas which is not good for my bank balance um but these are from Nasty Gal I'll link as much as I can in the description box as always um if you ever wonder where anything's from that I've mentioned in my videos it will more than likely be in the description box I'm kind of hoping it's not hot out there or I'm gonna look like a bit of a lunatic but yeah if I see anything interesting in the shops I will of course let you know I think I might go to Starbucks today I I've been having far too many Starbucks recently and I was on a little ban and I didn't have any yesterday so I feel like it's only right to treat myself today. Um, uh, so yeah, I feel like this time of year you have to drink Starbucks every single day. So I'm going to get my bag and let's head downstairs. Oh, I'm actually sweating and I haven't actually walked out the door yet which isn't a great sign. I'm pretty sure I say that on every single vlog. Like, 
<laughs> Name a time when Gemma isn't sweating. So yeah, when I get all of the stocking fillers and everything like that, I will actually run through everything that I've bought. Um, for a little bit of like early Christmas gift inspo if you're crazy like me and you like to actually start your Christmas shopping now. So, let's go. I'm not going to lie. It's looking extremely sunny and warm out there, but it might be cold. I might check the temp. Actually, no, I'm just going to risk it. Bugger it. Hello everyone, back with your girl. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. So it's like seven o'clock in the evening now. Me and Sophie have decided we're gonna have a little girls' night in. So we are at, of course, MS to get snacks. So I have spent today getting Sophie's and Sophie's mum's stockings for tomorrow. Missy here hasn't actually started yet. I'm gonna start now. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm gonna fill yours up with pesto swell hummus and Oh my god, that would literally I'd I'd be well happy. You'd be happier with that than actual presents, I think. <gasps> okay, so first stop is next home and look how adorable these are. Oh my god, look at the dressing gown. It's got little foxes on it. Cute teddy bear slippers. Oh my god, next do the best pyjamas at Christmas. I feel like they don't really have that many amazing ones in right now, but nearer Christmas, don't they do the best pyjamas? I know, how soft. Every year I always ask mum for a new pair of pyjamas from next and a new dressing gown from next because you just can't beat it. They're just so nice. Uh oh, we've stumbled across the reed diffusers, which are my kryptonite. This is like a tiny little section in this next. It's not like our big next, but I've spotted this one. I think this is a new one and it smells incredible. Also, these are amazing. Love these, but they haven't got the full Christmas collection in here. Also, how cute is this? That's pretty. And I'm getting these pajamas because I can't resist. I'm gonna get them for mum for Christmas. So first Christmas present of 2019 has officially been purchased. Oh my God. They're, really cute, aren't they? They're so cute. Get a little pack of three for 10 pounds. That white jasmine. Ooh, it's fresh. Fresh. That is fresh. So this is the Island Spa one, which I just showed you. So mm. nice. It literally smells like center parks. Sophie went to Centre Parks this weekend. I'm very jealous. Was it amazing? It was. I just love the bath there in the spa suite. You know, it's like massive. Oh. Oh my god, I need that. Smell it. Oh. Pass it here. It's mini Christmas come early. Is that for, you. for my stocking? Oh yeah, it's going to be a surprise. You just need to forget about Spa retreat, candle. Doesn't that smell incredible? Anything that smells like a spa, I am all over like an actual brush. I love it. Here we are in our natural habitat. If you're wondering what I'm going on about and what I basically eat all day, every day, this is the hummus. So it's pesto swell hummus. And these are the prawns. They're kind of upside down at the moment. But these are the basil pesto king prawns. And we also need, they're at the bottom, Han. They're there. I was about to have a bit of a nervous breakdown. I know. And we need, these are the pit of breads we have. So this is basically like mine and Sophie's diet, I'm not gonna lie. And then the Percy pigs are for Sophie's stocking. Wait, everyone, you know last time I told you to get the salted caramel whips, I kind of played you. Get the normal whips, they're so much nicer. Like so much nicer. Also, these are insane. If you haven't tried these, I feel like this section is a must for any girls night inns you've got coming up. Like forget Tesco, forget Sainsbury's, like this is where it's at. So we've added halloumi to the mix. So tonight's dinner is gonna be hummus on warm pita, prawns and halloumi. That's, That's what awesome. dreams are made of. So we are in yours truly Poundland, and I've just noticed they do pick a mix in here and they're so much cheaper than like the supermarket. So you can get the big cup for like two pounds and the little cup for one pound. I'm sure they're like four pounds. compared to the cinema. Is it? Oh my God, the cinema sweets are so expensive. I love these. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, really like <gasps> Strawberry dreams, which ones? Do you? I've got like a chewy one. Oh, yum. So Halloween has hit Poundland. They've actually got loads of stuff. I mean, this is great for kids or any Halloween parties you're having. I feel like this stuff can be quite expensive anywhere else, so. They've got everything, like they've got... Oh, lights up. Oh, cool. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. <laughs> it's a they've got loads of tea light holders. They've got loads of like little lights, bat lights, pumpkin lights, masks. <laughs> Is it kids? <laughs> wow, babe, I especially love... I think it's kids. Does it suit me? I especially love the label on your forehead. <laughs> So we've come for a little look in H&M to see what autumn goodies we can find and oh my actual god Look at this coat. How much is this? I'll find out for you everyone. Don't worry 40 pounds. That is so 
gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, look at all the autumny colours. Love these. They're so nice. Oh, I think they'd look nice. I think with a nice oversized cream jumper. Don't you think they'd look cute? I actually want them, I'm not going to lie. We've got so many jumpers in here. Oh my God, H&M haul. Soon to come, you already know. I'm all for this colour this season. Like, I love it so much. So another little hidden gem is Tesco's for nightwear. Oh my god, Tesco's always do the most incredible pyjamas. How amazing is this? Oh, good find, so Grey, and it's got rose gold. How much are these? Where's the label? Oh, oh sneaky. £14. And I love the cream as well because it's got the rose gold zip. So if you're looking for any like Christmas presents or just to treat yourself to some new autumnal nightwear, then Tesco is the place. I always find it's really, really affordable. I've also just spotted some really nice loungewear sets. How cute are those? Love those. They've also got them in grey and black and khaki. And they've also got these like oversized camel jumpers here, which are really, really nice. I love the khaki one. Oh my god, tell right Tesco, all right, stepping up the loungewear game. Love this, it's like almost like an oversized blazer like slash coat. It's like blazer material, only 32 pounds. That's actually unreal. And then they've got more of like this type of style one over here, only 22 pounds. I love Tesco workwear, it's actually underrated. So I thought I'd give you a lesson that not many people get to see and that is Gemma's Halloumi Lesson 101. I'm gonna show you how to get the best grilled halloumi in the entire world. So first of all, you need halloumi from any supermarket. The best one is actually from Sainsbury's and it's in a box. Oh my God, that is the best one. Second, you're gonna need a George Foreman grill. This is like 30 pounds from Argos. And then you're gonna need some fry light spray. It doesn't really matter which one. Oh my God, I can't even describe how amazing this makes halloumi. So give it a quick little spray, just so it doesn't stick. And then you cut this into slices. So the halloumi this size, I usually cut into six. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, into like quite thick slices. And then I just place it on here, and oh my god, it goes like crispy, but still soft. And mm, it's the best halloumi, if I do say so myself. That noise, that is the noise of heaven being produced. So I usually leave it in the grill for about, probably about eight to 10 minutes. I close the lid and it like makes the char grilled little lines. Oh my God, it's so nice. I feel like halloumi is one of life's best creations. So I'm gonna close that and let that cook for like 10 minutes. Are we ready in three, two, one, ta-da! Oh my God, how incredible does that halloumi look? I'm not even joking, oh my gosh. Okay, ladies and gents, here it is. The most random, but the most delightful dinner in the entire world. This is mine and Sophie's absolute fave. Sophie's just waiting in there patiently. <laughs> we are so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and eat this. Oh my God, look at me. I literally ran upstairs. The good thing about cooking halloumi is you can take your makeup off whilst you are cooking the halloumi, ready to get cozy. I'm one of these people I can't, get cozy and eat if I've got like a full face of makeup on like I just feel weird so our plan is we're just gonna chill out tonight we're gonna eat food it's quite late now it's like nine o'clock so we're probably gonna eat go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow for early Christmas day and I'm gonna show you all of the stocking stuff in the morning because I'm scared that someone over there is gonna be listening to what's in her stock night everyone and I'll see you in the morning Good morning, everyone. Wait, I've just had a thought. Is it even morning anymore? It's 11.58, so we've got two minutes left of morning. Um, so it's now Thursday. So I thought it wouldn't be an episode of the Gemma Diaries if I didn't sit and have a sofa chat. I feel like this is a new thing, sofa chats. Um, so I've got a load of stuff which I bought yesterday. I went a little bit crazy and I bought so much stuff. So I thought we could almost do like a little haul. Thought I'd take a seat and just check in on everyone, make sure everyone is okay. So this morning I've just been editing videos because I've had to pre-film some videos because I'm obviously going away next week. Um, I'm really excited for you to see the Croatia vlog. I am going with Laura and I'm also meeting Amy for the first time. You guys probably know Amy. If not, I'll link her channel below. I actually really struggle to relate to people a lot. Like there's only very few people that I 
can really relate to and that's why I love doing these vlogs and sitting down and chatting to you because I've always felt like I don't have anyone to relate to and it's actually incredible the amount of you when I say certain things that I don't think anyone can relate to loads of you can that's just insane and hopefully that makes you feel better because I love meeting someone that I can relate to I don't know it just it makes me feel so much better so yeah I'm really excited to meet Amy really excited to just go on this trip in general I think it's going to be really really fun so I'm going for three nights so I'm going Monday night Tuesday night Wednesday night and then I'm back on Thursday so like I said there's going to be a Croatia vlog on what day on Sunday and then I'm going to go back to three videos a week um I just didn't want to pile too much on seeing as I had to pre-record some I didn't I, like I've got a big fear of like my content being crap and I feel like if I rush anything or pile too much on myself it's going to be crap like I would literally rather upload one video per week and it be decent content than three videos and then be kind of like rubbish um plan for the rest of the day obviously we're having like a mini Christmas at Sophie's when I was talking about this yesterday to Sophie she was like are people gonna think we're mad I was like yeah probably I was like but sod it who cares i'm not entirely sure how much i'm actually gonna be able to vlog at sophie's because i just kind of want to be in the moment there so i'll try and get as much as i can um but i'm gonna show you like the stockings and stuff now just in case i don't get as much as i'd like so yes i know this is ridiculous right but sometimes when i do kind of do a chunk of my vlog sat down talking i do sometimes feel a little bit I feel a bit pressured like I feel like there's almost like a clock ticking and I shouldn't be talking for this amount of time and you guys are going to find it really boring and stuff like that but the reason I created these weekly vlogs was to be able to do this. My aim for the Gemma Diaries wasn't for me to be going here, there and everywhere and them to be like really exciting vlogs. It was kind of just a place where we can all come and catch up and talk about like how we're feeling and I hope you guys can feel like you could like write in the comments if you're feeling a certain way and I try to get back to as many comments as I can and I just think it's a nice cozy calm place for us to come and have a chat and yeah I like to kind of like stay really in tune with you and tell you how I'm feeling and tell you what the updates are and yeah I just think I just think it's a nice place for us to come together I do feel like sometimes I'm a bit like Gemma like I don't know no one wants to listen to you talk but maybe one of you do so you can always skip this part anyway so if i do ever like go anywhere that's really really exciting then of course i'll create like a separate vlog for that oh my god i've just noticed what is this on my face i've literally just got out the shower and i used this new like scrub and i think i got some on my face and i'm like genuinely having an allergic reaction oh no what the hell? I was trying to like basically scrub about 10 layers of my skin off. I'm at that stage where I just need everything. Like my eyebrows are like slugs. They're so bad. You probably can't see, but if you were like this close to me, you'd be like, whoa, what the hell, babe? You need to do your eyebrows. I need to scrub my tan off and start again. I need to wash my hair. I'm going to get my eyelashes done tomorrow. Like I just, I'm at that stage, you know, the ugly stage where you're like, oh my god, I need everything doing. I'm at that stage in my life right now. Like, I'm not feeling good today, guys. So I just had a shower and, like, a mini pamper. I did, like, a little face mask and had, like, a good exfoliate so I could, like, start the process of getting uglier before I get better. Does anyone else do that? Like, the day before tanning day, I just, oh god, I'm just not pretty sight, everyone, let me tell you. Like, when I said I've got a lot to show you... I have got a lot to show you. So whilst I was in town yesterday, of course I bought stuff for myself because I just can't stop spending money. So first I went to Primark. I wanted to show you guys these because they are amazing. So I have been after these leggings for so long. I bought a pair ages and ages ago and they're literally my favourite leggings. And they are the Firm Control Shaper Legging. And I get them in an extra small and they are £4 each. They are so good. If you ever see these in Primark, then definitely grab a pair. I'm really, really picky with leggings. Like, I don't like anything obviously see-through. I don't like anything that's not high-waisted. I don't like anything that's not, like, tight. Like, when I buy leggings, I like them to be tight. And these are just so nice. So if you do ever see any of these, pick a pair up because you won't regret it. Then I also picked up some autumnal scrunchies because I saw these 
in Primark when I last went and I completely forgot to pick them up. So I just thought these were really, really nice. I love this colour here. I think that's going to look so nice. Then I also picked up just some little hoop earrings from Primark. I'm not sure how much you can see though. And then I popped into a shop that we have in Peterborough called Tiger. And it's like one of those shops that sells, you know, like loads of really random bits. And I found a long charger because I'm absolutely sick of like hanging over my bed with an iPhone charger about this long. When are they gonna make iPhone chargers longer? Like I just feel like Apple, you know. So I picked up this one, not entirely sure how long this is actually gonna work for because sometimes iPhones are a bit weird with these cables, aren't they? And they're like, iPhone does not recognize and you're like, oh. Then I picked up some of my favorite little chocolate pots. If you haven't watched any of my videos before and you haven't heard me mention these, these are so, so, so nice. So they are dairy free, gluten free, they're only 100 calories per pot and they are really, really small but they're like a perfect dessert if you're trying to like watch what you eat or you're on a diet. And then next I picked up some of my favourite lashes. Nine times out of ten I will be wearing these lashes in any of my vlogs. I do get quite a lot of questions about what lashes I'm wearing and it usually is the Ilior one for ones. And then I picked up a few bits panic buys basically for Croatia on Monday. So I'm going to Croatia with St Moritz, the tanning brand and we've got like an itinerary and there's quite a few things on there that I was like oh my god what the hell am I gonna wear like there's a beach party and like a night out and stuff and I was like oh my god like I only have comfy clothes because I don't leave my home so I need to get some bits so I kind of had yesterday a day where I went through my entire wardrobe and like made sure I had the clothes that I need and there are a few bits that I was missing so I went on to Boohoo and I just picked up one of these like sarongs which i'm gonna wear with a black swimsuit if we go to any like beach parties like that um but this was really really cheap like if you are if you like if you have got any holidays coming up boohoo is definitely a good place to look on because literally their summer stuff is so cheap so i picked up that i also went into new look yesterday and just picked up these shoes these were in sale they were 20 pounds but i got them for 10 um, and I thought these would be really nice for like beach party vibes as well because they're not too high um, But they're not a flat. I don't really want to wear like a flat with like a nice outfit. So I picked up those I did walk across the landing in these earlier though and they are uncomfy like I think I know why they were 10 pounds Oh, so Sophie was literally dying at me in these last night. So I picked up these sunglasses because I want to ignore the chain for now. I'll explain that in a moment. I wanted something like just cute and little and that would look cool with a bikini. And I actually, I've longed to actually like look good in these. And I actually don't mind them. I think, especially with the label, babe. Do you know what I mean? Like that is a vibe. Bloody hell. So I think these will look nice with like a bikini. So I also bought... This comes off, by the way. This is Sephora. I'll link as much as I can in the description box. But this is one of those cute chains. Now, <laughs> I just feel like an idiot. Like, I literally feel like a twat with this hanging off my face. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm wearing a hoodie and I've got no makeup on and my hair's out. But, like, Jesus. I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned for the Croatia vlog to see um, if I rock this look. <laughs> I picked up, oh, just some like standard like gold necklaces. You know, like the gold coin necklace that I wear. I just picked up a few of those. Um, they're really, really cheap on Boohoo again. They're like four pounds or something like that. I went on to Missy Empire. Missy Empire is actually one of my favorite shops at the moment. I think their clothes are actually unreal. Like really, really good quality. They're the best for like oversized jumpers and joggers and like oversized t-shirts, like they're amazing. So I picked up um, just a plain oversized sand t-shirt. Oh, I forgot actually, it's got this on the back, which I thought was cute. Basically on the PR trip, on the itinerary, it says we're doing yoga on the beach. So I wanted an outfit for that. So I thought this would look cute with i just picked up a pair of ribbed cycling shorts i'm not going to get those out because they're a little bit boring but i thought they'd look cute together and then for airport vibes i just wanted i thought that was a spider <laughs> ah has anyone else got like spider anxiety at the moment i feel like honestly everywhere i go there are beasts everywhere 
especially because my house is in the middle of nowhere like out that window there's no other houses like it's literally just like trees and trees and trees and trees and i feel like all of the freaking tarantulas are coming out the trees coming into my house like oh that is the worst thing about september isn't it so i just wanted a let's get this out and have a look i wanted just like a new see i've got so many oversized hoodies and oversized sweaters but nothing beats the new feeling do you know what i mean when you put like a new hoodie on you're like oh. so i wanted that kind of like feeling on the plane so I bought a new oversized nude hoodie. Honestly, guys, you're looking for like super oversized, super cozy, really well priced hoodies or sweaters. Definitely have a look on Missy Empire because they just have loads. So yeah, I'm really happy with everything. I'm gonna take you upstairs in a moment and show you the bits for the stockings. Just in case you do want like a little bit of early Christmas inspire. Hey, so these are the stockings. These were from Amazon and they were £10 for both, which I think is an amazing price. So this is Sophie's stocking. As you can see, look how well that fits. Like it's all chunky, it's full to the brim. And I'm gonna show you Sophie's mum's first. So this might give you some ideas what to kind of get people for Christmas or if you do stockings for your family, like I always do one for my mum. So this might give you some ideas or if you've got birthdays coming up or anything like that, I'm quite good at like little gifts. So first of all, I know Sophie's mum loves these sugar-free sweets from M&S. So I just got loads of packs of those. I always try and like bolt the stockings up with either sweets or chocolate or something that's not expensive and you know they really, really like. Then I also got her some of the little chocolate pots to try. She's actually doing Slim and World at the moment, so I know these are really, really good. And I didn't want to get her anything that wasn't on Slim and World because it's just really annoying when you're on a diet and someone buys you like loads of chocolate because you just have to eat it. So I also picked up this rose jam shower gel from Lush. Lush is a fab place to get any like little bits for anyone. I feel like everyone loves a little bit of Lush. Um, and then I picked up one of these candles that me and Sophie were smelling in Next yesterday. This is the one that literally smells like Centre Parks. So I thought she'd love that. Then I noticed she always drinks out of like a little sippy cup. And the one she drinks out of is one that I actually got Sophie. So I thought I'd get her her own. I also picked her up one of these little jewellery holders. Um, I noticed the other week she actually had all of her jewellery like in a box. And it was all tangled. So I thought she could like hang little. I think this is an earring holder. But you could also hang like little bracelets and stuff over it. Um, and that was from New Look. And that was 3 99 then I also got one of these little Zara perfumes. I think these are great for presents. Zara do so many different ones. And that was also $3.99. I think these are so cute. These were from Paper Chase. They were £2.50. And they're like little pins for a clipboard. Then I got a little Burt's Bees lip seal. I feel like lip seal is one of them things that everyone needs. Um, I got a little face mask, obviously, because face masks are life. I love this one. I use this one all the time. It's just so nice and it's only £2. And then I picked up some of these gel eye masks from Primark. They were £1. Again, I think you can't really go wrong with pamper stuff. I think if you are ever stuck for something to buy for someone, pamper stuff is always a good shout. And then, last but definitely not least, I picked this up from Paper Chase, I think it was. Yeah. And it was £5. And I just thought... How cute is this? So it's a 365 days of happiness. And on each page, you've got like obviously your day, the year, and then it says things that made me smile today. And I just thought this would be a great little book to just show your gratitude every single day. And it's really important to think of at least one thing each day that you're either grateful for or that's made you smile. And I just think that's a really nice little touch. So that is Sophie's mum's stocking done, which I'm so excited to give her. Then, moving on to Sophie's. So, in Sophie's stocking, the first thing I got was this cute little mug from New Look. This was £6.99. New Look do the best mugs, and I feel like a mug is a really good present. I feel like everyone needs a new mug, and everyone loves a new mug, and they're really good for bulking out stockings as well. 
Then moving over here, I also got Sophie these little eye masks too. I thought they'd be great for pamper nights and their little donuts, which is so cute. Then I got her one of the new strawberry and cream bath bombs from Lush. It smells so good. I know Sophie loves a bath, so I know that she'll really appreciate that. Got her a face mask as well. And then I picked her up the Garnier Summer Body. We love this. This is really, really good for after your fake tan. So you know when you put your like normal fake tan on, your developing one? Once you've rinsed that off, if you actually put some of this on, it makes your tan last longer. So I got her some of that. Then I got her our favourite lashes as well. I got her a new charging cable because honestly, her charging cable isn't like one of the normal Apple ones like this. Her charging cable is like half the size of that. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. So I picked her up one of these as well. Then in Paper Chase, I found this 1000... Oh, oh that's 100, lol. I found this 100 facts to-do list. Each page, there's a different fact. Sophie loves a fact. So I thought this just really suited her. She always comes out with like really random facts. Um, this was from paper chase and it was seven pounds this cute little packet of chocolates these are three for ten pounds at the moment just in case you didn't know then down here i also got sophie one of the little zara perfumes i got her some percy pigs the veggie ones are her favorite i don't know why but the veggie ones are so much nicer than the originals then moving over here i got her some hair scrunchies i know that she loves a scrunchie and just thought these were really cute I picked her up the same earrings as me because she's got her ears pierced quite a few times so I thought these would be really nice and then obviously just a little Garnier this is the best cleansing water ever it's the oil infused one. Oh my god it's so good and then I got her a NYX butter gloss in shade fortune cookie this is one of my favorite lip glosses and Sophie never seems to have any lip gloss so I picked her up one of those I think this was seven pounds I feel like this would be cute for a little hamper for someone or like I said for Christmas me again not like it would be anyone else anyway as I just came back downstairs to tidy up I realized that I've missed out half the stuff that I wanted to show you so, the haul continues. I picked up the coat that we were talking about. I wanted it to go over like huge jumpers and I wanted it to kind of like sit on my shoulders and be that kind of vibe. God, how beautiful is it? I love all the colours in it. I love like this colour on the inside as well. And it was only £32. Tesco have actually got some really nice bits here. Um, and then also from next, I picked up my mum an early Christmas present, which I'm going to save till Christmas. The thing is with next pyjamas, I have learnt this the hard way, and if you really want- <laughs> For God's sake! I thought it was a spider and it was the receipt! Oh my god, I'm literally like this all the time, like I just constantly walk around screaming. <sighs> anyway, what was I saying? When they get their Christmas stock in especially, they sell out like this. Like I remember I wanted this dressing gown so much once and I was like, Mom, can I have this dressing gown for Christmas? Because she always gets me a new dressing gown and pyjamas. She was like, yeah, I'll go get it tomorrow. And I was like, please go get it tonight because next sell out really quickly. And she's like, Gemma, it's not going to sell out overnight. She went in there the next day and it was literally sold out and it didn't come back. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I still think about that dressing gown every single day. So yeah, if you see something in next just buy it like just buy it early also yesterday got a really exciting delivery from foreo um this was kindly gifted to me by foreo by the way as you guys know i bloody love my foreo luna 3 i use it twice a day like morning and night after the gym i use it all the time i love it so much um but they actually sent me a different one to try in a cute little box which i can't wait to use and it's the foreo ufo and then i also received these two masks as well so i got call it a night revitalizing and nourishing and then i got glow addict which is enhanced brightening i'm gonna have a play around with this and then i'll show you how i get on with this in my next vlog can you hear the bell it's like da -da 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 -da. i can see santa at the door Oh my god. Come on in. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my god, I can smell Christmas dinner. Well, I've made it in here a bit Christmassy. Have you? Is there a tree up? Oh, is there a tree up? Oh my I'm god, cute. We've got your Christmas candle. Oh my god, it actually smells like Christmas in here. What Christmas candle is that? Oh, it's 
Christmas magic. I love Christmas magic. It smells really nice in here. Oh my god, look it? at the stocking. Do you want to see the table? Yeah, show me the table. She's trying to cover the table so you can't so I see. Mystical Come on then. Welcome to Christmas. Oh my god, I love it. We've got a crackers and the snow. <gasps> I didn't know it's the snowman. And then we've got a Oh my god, I love these. A little present. It's not quite a stocking though, is it, dear? <laughs> we'll let you it. off. You've made enough effort. We'll let you off. We'll let you okay, off. There's a cookie. There's a game, right, that we've got for later. And it's like this board and you get little penguins and you like twist them. We've got a game. And you race penguins. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm excited. Oh, Santa, I missed you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Is this a Christmas candle on in here? Uh, no, it's a lemon one. <laughs> it's a lemon. <laughs> Sitting by an open fire on Christmas Day, but open fire, open flame. Oh, let's move so we can see the flame. Oh, this looks Christmassy. Now, if that ain't Christmas, I don't know what. I is. don't know what is either. To be fair, I'm surprised you don't actually think we're mad. We've had two early Christmases so far this year, and we'll probably have another one closer to Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. Just tell everyone our plans for the rest of Christmas Day. Wow. We did have this discussion earlier about how, because we start, we always start Christmas in the morning normally, obviously, because Christmas starts in the morning. And we were all saying it's weird that it's four because we didn't know what to do with ourselves. So we were all just like walking around, like, what do we do? It's four. Do we eat? Do we open presents? So we're going to eat, open presents, watch a film, and then mum's bought pamper stuff. So we're oh going to have God, a little so excited. cute night. I can't wait. Oh, it actually does smell like Christmas, doesn't it? It does. I'm just excited to eat loads and feel like a sloth. Oh, I you know, love I do that. Like post-Christmas like, oh. dinner feels. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to give you your stocking. Oh my god, I'm excited. Did you go get it today? Up my game a bit today, yeah. Did you? Yeah, I did. Where did you what? go today? Town. Oh, did you? It was, oh, it was Anxiety Central. So busy. Town is like the worst. Like, I, I always say to Sophie, like, town literally does give me anxiety. Because it, I feel like it's so, I feel like I don't like open places. Like, you know mm. when you're in a normal shop, you go down your aisles, you can kind of see who's around you. I've got, like, this real hang-up about people being able to see me, but I can't see them. I know what you mean. So, in Queensgate, like, so open. when you walk through the actual car park bit, I just feel like there's eyes everywhere. Like, I really hate town. Especially if you're walking at the bottom where there's, like, that, there's, like, a landing <laughs> over everything. So, if you're at the bottom, like, people can see you left, there's right, like and There's, like, this bit where it escalates and there's, like, like... It's like a ring around, like, an upper ring. It's really quite scary. It is. It was easy to find stuff in town, though, weren't it? Oh yeah. Like little bits. I was struggling to stop spending money. Yeah, I was. Because I when I was actually trying to make a list of things to put in a stocking, I was like, oh my god, this is so hard. And then when I actually went into shops, I was like, this is well easy. We're gonna do a present exchange again this year. What, proper Christmas? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I was like, she paused. I was like, what the hell? I thought you meant like now. I was no. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but actual Christmas. Oh yeah, it's got to be done. If anyone's interested, I will link our one from last year below. That was pretty extravagant. That was. Are we going to be the same? <laughs> we spent like be 500 worse. pounds each. It's probably going to be worse. Yeah, I was going to say this year we're probably going to spend more. So you bought a new car today? Oh yeah. You haven't told everyone. Oh yeah, you're buying a Canon and I'm buying a Mini. But I want a new car now. Get one. <laughs> no, not yet. Wait. My aim bit, is to get. Bit. My aim is to get one by the end of this year. I think December I might. Yeah, or after Jan. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. After Jan, oh yeah, my tax like, bill. Yeah. When do you pick it up? He said it could take up to a week to get here. Oh, why does it take so long? Like when I you just know. bought a new car, you want it right this minute now. I know. It's in Wales. How does it take a week to get it from Wales? That's what I thought. Just be like, I'll drive I know and get Wales it. Wales is a long way away, but it takes about a couple of hours, not a week. Can we, can we do Sophie's new car tour? Absolutely. Oh my God, who wants to see Sophie's new car on a YouTube video? We could do that. We could. We could put a Lamborghini on the front of the thumbnail. <laughs> and then everyone would want to see. <laughs> be like, my best friend bought a new car. We could put my best friend bought her dream car. And put a Lambo on the front and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just change the mini badge to a Lamborghini and be like, yeah. You know what like some people do when they have like old courses that they put like... <laughs> what, people do that? Yeah, they put like the wrong like Ferrari or Lamborghini badges on no, it. They like, no, they don't. No, they Stop don't. Stop it. They Stop do. it. And they put stickers all over it and I'm like... Like Monster Energy stickers. Yeah, I'm like, well damn, you're driving a Lambo. <laughs> mm. Looks like a Clio though. You sure it's a Lambo? <laughs> I'm sure I've seen a very, very Clio looking car. Wow. We're gonna chill out for a bit, then we're gonna have dinner, and then 
exchange the stocking. Yeah. <laughs> when the food coma hits. Is it really bad? Real, real bad? Oh my god, I'm feeling it too. Look at Sophie's little Christmas hat. <laughs> this is like post Christmas dinner vibes. <laughs> Do you want dessert yet, Han? What have we got for dessert? Them toffee things from MS. What toffee yeah, things? Really no, we haven't. Yeah, we do. Oh, yum. So, we've had dinner. Sophie's still got her bunny ears on. We've been doing face masks. It's been so fun. We've made like a little present corner. Does anyone else do this on Christmas Day? Like me and Sophie were saying that on Christmas Day, we always like make a little display of all our presents so we can just sit and admire them. So, oh my God, love everything so much. They got me this cash book. I don't know how well you can see this because it's quite dark in here, but it's really good for keeping on top of like your finances. Um, where did she say she got this paper chase? Yeah. But so good. I really, really need this at the moment. So that'll come in so handy. Favourite little perfume in one of these. It's almost like, it's not like a spray, is it? It's like a pen that you like click Yeah, it. it's like a pen. You click it and you put it on your wrist. And this is my favourite perfume in the whole world. So I love that. This little spray from the body shop. Um, it's smelling like freshen up your skin and make it really glowy. So I'm really excited to use that. New bath bomb, which smells incredible, which I will be using on my next bath. Also got the tea tree facial wash, which I really, really, really wanted. So I'm really happy about that. When I went into the body shop, they didn't actually have it. So you read my mind, hun. Thank you. And we've also just been given roulade. Are these the toffee ones? Oh yeah. Oh my God, these are the best. We always have these at Christmas. Mm. Genuinely feels like Christmas, doesn't it? It does, I think it's because we've got all our stuff laid out. Oh my God, and it smells like Christmas because of the candle. Um, but if you don't know about these, oh my gosh, we always have them at Christmas, don't oh, they? Oh, I have them every single Christmas. And they are the toffee roulades from M&S. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So I have just been to get my lashes done. I'm feeling like a whole new woman. So for my lashes, I go to Dolly Lashes in Peterborough. I'm going to leave all of the details in the description box below. Hang on, I've got a mint in my mouth and it's giving me like a lisp when I talk. Let me finish my mint. So now I can actually talk properly. As I was saying, I'm gonna leave all of the details for Dolly's lashes in the description box below. Whenever I get eyelash extensions, I always go there. Britt, the lady that does them, just always does them exactly how I want them. And yeah, I just feel like if I'm going away, I do want eyelashes on because I feel like you can kind of get away with wearing minimal makeup but still look done up. And right now is it's midday. I need to go and pick my new camera up, which I cannot wait for. Oh my gosh, so excited. This one is literally on its last legs. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Currently at B&M. My way to get my camera, I saw a little lonely B&M sat there and I was like, oh my god. I've heard through the grapevine that there are Christmas things in there. So... I'm going to go and explore what Christmassy goods they've got. If they do have Christmas bits, of course I'm going to show you. Um, but I want some like Christmas, not Christmas, like autumn scents for the house. So that's what I'm going to go have a look for now. Whoa, that's a beautiful angle. Okay, stop. They have got the Teddy Fleece duvet set. You know I'm obsessed with the Jersey bedding one. Oh my God, I'm getting one of these. 100%. They've got it in also grey, pink and mustard. <gasps> so cozy oh my god for when it gets colder they're going to be incredible so these are the woodwick candle dupes that i was talking about they also do huge ones down here um this was the one in my recent b&m haul and then also have these more shaped ones here which i think are really really nice no christmas bit yet guys there's loads of like empty shelves so i feel like seasonal is coming i've seen some christmas crackers but no christmas decks as of yet so we'll have to hold out a little bit longer Ladies and gents, we found the first Christmas item. Oh my god. Woohoo! Just picked up my new camera, which I'm so excited about. This is basically exactly the same as the one that I've got now, but it's the new version of it. So the one that I'm using right now is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Um, but I just went for the one that is meant to be a little bit better because I thought, why not? Time for a little upgrade. I use it every single day. So I thought, you know, if my one's going a little bit up the creek right now i may as well just bite the bullet and buy a new one um this is quite an expensive camera but i really do recommend 
Canon, like the one I've got in my hand right now, it is brilliant quality, it's very easy to use, it's a great vlogging camera, but the only problem is they're quite temperamental, like I know every single person that's had this camera has had problems with it, um, but it's one of those things that I just, I feel like even if it goes wrong, they're just so good that you purchase it again, do you know what I mean? I also picked up from B&M, the teddy bear fleece i'm so excited i'm gonna save this for like end of october vibes when it's super cold because this is really 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 warm like you will literally overheat if you put this on right now so i'm gonna stick to jersey i feel like i have different stages of bedding i have my jersey bedding and then when it gets a little bit colder i have this um but these are in b&m at the moment like i said they've got loads of different colors so yes i am gonna put this on sort of when it gets a little bit colder so it's now half past four my plan is i've just come in to see mum i'm just sitting outside my mum's house now um i'm gonna go home i feel like i've got 1001 things to do i think because i'm going away next week i'm like oh i've got so much to do so my plan is i'm gonna drive home i'm gonna have a bath because i need to like scrub the remainder of my tan off because i'm gonna be tanning in the morning um and that's pretty much it for tonight. So I'm going to have a nice cosy bath, light some pumpkin spice candles. I'm going to use my new Lush Bath Bomb. Just going to have a nice little relax. I might even finish 13 Reasons Why tonight. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and finish it in the bath. Have a nice soak, scrub my skin. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to have a little pamper morning. I am going to show you how I do my eyebrows. I'm going to have like a little transformation sesh. I'm also going to show you my tanning routine in the morning as well. I feel like I need to like calm down a little bit. You can only do so much Gemma and yeah does anyone else get a little bit too excited for a candlelit bubble bath I am so excited for this right now so I've got some cozy candles on I've got fireside treats burning over here which is a little bit of a Christmas candle but I don't know it just this is like my bath candle it makes the room just smell so like comforting and cozy so love this candle and then over here of course I've got Harvest pumpkin. Oh my gosh, this was from Home Sense and it smells absolutely incredible. So, got my little bath running over here. I'm gonna use the Lush bath one that Sophie got me yesterday. I wanted to save it to um put it in for you guys. Oh my god, is there anything better than a Lush bath one? Oh my god, that smells insane. Doesn't this look like the bath of dreams? Oh my god. And then I've also actually been using this, which is what I got in this month's glossy box. And it's like a little exfoliator and it's brilliant to get fake tan off. Like it's probably one of the best things I've ever used to remove fake tan. I'm not entirely sure if you can buy this, like a big pack of it but I think I'm gonna have a look because it's really 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 good but the only problem is with it is it does get everywhere. Um, when I used it the other day, it was literally like on the windowsill and everything, like it went so far. But this is really, 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 really good for getting fake tan off. So I'm going to be using that because as we can see, Gemma's fake tan is patchy. Wow, that rhymed. Anyway, good night, everyone. This is my evening and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Hello, everyone, fresh out the shower. Happy Saturday. So I'm also on the new camera. So I don't know if you can tell if the quality is any better. I can't really tell until I put it on the laptop. But I thought I would jump on and show you my eyebrow dyeing routine and my tanning routine because I haven't actually showed you guys this in a vlog forever. So I've just had the most satisfying shower ever. You know when you wash your hair and you literally scrub your skin to get rid of all the fake tan? I'm just feeling so fresh and i'm just feeling good guys i'm feeling good i'm ready for the transformation got my lashes done i've got my nails done i'm halfway there now i just need eyebrows and tan and then i think i'll feel a little bit more excited because i think right now i just feel like i've got a million and one things to do and i know when i'm ready myself like i feel a little bit better in myself that i'll be a little bit more excited so i'm just gonna actually take that off my head ow so on my hair as soon as i get out the shower and i've kind of like towel dried it I always use this and this is the Matrix Miracle Creator. So, so, so good. So as soon as I take my hair out the towel, I usually just, you know, give it a spray all over. I do actually use a lot of this, so I'm actually really, really surprised. There's still some left. I sometimes blow dry my hair, but recently I've actually just been leaving it and it's actually been going quite nice and wavy. I think this actually stops it going like super frizzy because before I actually used that, I used to wake up like, a female Hagrid but now I don't look as windswept when I wake up and then I'm just gonna take a big scrunchie and I usually just pop it 
on a bun on top of my head so eyebrows i dye my own eyebrows i get loads of questions if my eyebrows are microbladed i've never had my eyebrows sort of done like that the most i've ever had done is i've had them um threaded but i don't even do that anymore i literally just pluck them myself and then i dye them i do this sort of like every two weeks this is brilliant for if you're going on holiday or you like effortless glam like you like to wake up and just feel a little bit more like done up then i would definitely recommend doing your own eyebrows um and this is the eyelid dye brow i get it in black if you get it in dark brown i find it makes my eyebrows kind of like gingery but if you get black it's a lot more of an ashy tone so this is what i picked up i think this is about seven pounds and then i also picked up which i haven't actually used before these brow stencils so if you're not great at like drawing your own eyebrows on these are actually really really good i've seen these in there for years but i've never actually tried them so i'm going to try those today and then i also got these eyebrow shaper little waxing strips and they're from Superdrug. i'm not actually going to use those today purely because i can be a bit sensitive to wax and i don't really fancy having an allergic reaction today like i'm not really not really in the mood for a trip to a and e to be honest in the kit you get your dye you get your activator and you get a little stirry thing here and you also get or is it it's in my hand you also get a little brush as well um but i would say my favorite thing to actually apply the dye onto my eyebrows is a brush like this so it's just i think this was just from boots it was like a pound it's just like a little eyebrow brush i find this so much easier to get the shape so when you've mixed the dye it should kind of look like this it shouldn't be too runny but then it shouldn't be too thick it should just be like creamy but it shouldn't kind of drip out the packet um so i'm gonna leave that there for a second and then these eyebrow stencils are actually unreal i think they're like five pounds but in the pack you get four different ones so you get a high arch you get a full arch medium arch and a slim arch so this is a, I, I can't believe i've never used these before like it's going to be so much easier like usually i'm here for ages like trying to get my eyebrows the same and they never are so i think i am going to go for maybe a high arch you know let's have a look oh god can't actually see oh <gasps> maybe i need full arch maybe my eyebrows are like that big yeah i need full arch so I'm guessing you just hold it on <laughs> Wow, Gemma. <laughs> I'm guessing you just hold it on your face like this and then kind of like use the dye. I'm going to stand my mirror somewhere. Will it go in the radiator? Wow. Will my mirror go in the radiator? That's something I never quite thought I'd hear myself say. No, it won't is the answer. Um, let me go get a mirror. Okay, so I'm guessing you just hold it on like this and then you just go straight in with the dye. Oh. <gasps> This is exciting. I can't believe I've never used these before. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my God, these are actually unreal. These are definitely worth like getting. The thing is with this dye is it does take really, really, really quickly. So what I would say is if you don't want super dark eyebrows, kind of keep every minute or so remove it and then if you want it a little bit darker just do it again and kind of build on it instead of doing the mistake that i usually do and leave it on for like 10 minutes and then be like well crap i've got really dark eyebrows now so what i usually do is i like to have like an ombre effect so i'll only fill in from like here onwards and then with this little bit here i will just kind of like do it really really lightly so there's still a little bit of color in there but it's not like all the way like as full as here so that's what it looks like with the dye on i'm probably going to leave it for about i usually leave mine for about two minutes so this is them both with the dye on i'm going to now run to the bathroom to get some cotton wool pads um to make sure that i get off before it gets too dark but honestly makes such 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 a difference you will see when i actually remove it turns out i've run out of cotton wool pads so i'm having to use a damp flannel which is soon going to be a ruined damp flannel so i'm just gonna remove the dye try not to rub it too much because it will remove like quite a lot of it so happy with that as you can see the black dye just has like a really really nice undertone like it's not orangey at all like it's just really like nice and dark if you like like a no makeup look as well it's brilliant for that if you kind of just like to get up and go you don't really like to spend too much time on your makeup it's brilliant and like i said it's brilliant for holidays as well 
So I'm very, very happy with how they've turned out. Also now, I'm gonna do my tan, which I'm so bloody excited about. I feel like Casper the Ghost. I am one of these people that religiously tans. Like I never don't have fake tan. Like I don't think I've ever been on camera without fake tan. I feel like I'm fine not wearing makeup. I'm fine kind of like not having my hair done, but fake tan, oh my gosh, it's an absolute must for me. I genuinely couldn't live without it. <laughs> I just think it makes you look so much healthier. It makes you look like more toned. I just think clothes look nicer, hair looks nicer. Just everything looks better with the tan. So I've moved into the bathroom because I know what I'm like. I'm one of those people that I will just get fake tan everywhere. Like everywhere I go, I leave orange marks. So I thought, don't do it in a cream bedroom, Gemma. So I'm gonna be using one of my favorite fake tans. I love, I've got a few favorite fake tans. This is the Ultra Dark Bronzing Mousse from Love & Tan. It's so, 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 so good. I love it because when you put it on, you obviously keep it on for eight hours, sleep in it, whatever you fancy doing. When you actually wash off the transfer color, it's exactly the same, like barely any comes off. The other one I love is the Ultra Dark St. Moritz Tan. And another one I love is the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. So. I like an ultra dark tan. So the best thing to do, I'm gonna do my face. Obviously body is self-explanatory, literally. I just use one of these. I use, again, the one from Love & Tan. This is not sponsored by Love & Tan, by the way. I just love their products. Um, and it's the Velvet Mitt. So any mitt is fine. I mean, you can grab a mitt from Boots. St. Moritz do really good mitts. Velvet Tan do really good mitts. So yeah, any kind of mitt you wanna use. The only downfall with this tan is it is quite expensive and the only place you can get it from is Australia. So I would probably say a tan that's very, very similar to this, which is a lot cheaper and you can pick it up from Boots Superdrug is the St. Moritz Ultra Dark Tan. I really, really, really do like that one. If you'd like to see a few more of like St. Moritz's new products, I am going away with them to Croatia on Monday. So I'll be showing you guys all of their new products. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But a little tip for your face is never use a mitt. Never ever use a mitt. Always use like a big buffing brush. I think this one was just from Boots. Just out of thought, I'm wearing a white top and I'm about to tan, this could go horribly wrong. So what I usually do is get my mitt. I then just put a few pumps of the tan onto the mitt. And then I literally just dip my brush in. I usually start at the bottom of my face and then work my way up. But as you can see, it just goes on so much nicer. I'm kind of unsure how this is looking as well because I'm doing it in the viewfinder haven't actually got a mirror, which is a little bit of a rookie error, not gonna lie. But also, I'll always go over my ears, because there's nothing worse than a pale ear. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do all of my face. I might actually turn around and use the mirror, because I feel like this is a little bit of a scary operation. Another benefit is you can really work it into your hairline as well. And you can also have a really nice line across your head like this. So as you can see, that looks a little bit less crazy now, I've really blended it. Um, as long as you blend it really, really well, it can just look so much more natural. I'm really, really happy with <laughs> so much more natural, she says, with a bright orange face. So I'm gonna do the rest of my body, gonna take my top off. So moving on to my body, I like to have a really, really, really dark neck. Is anyone else like that? Like I think it makes your face look so much more like framed if you've got a really dark neck. So again, I'm gonna put some on my mitt and then I'm gonna use my brush to do my neck as well. The application is just so much better and you can really like get around the back of your neck as well because I always tend to have like a bit of a line here. Um, but I find with a brush, you can really blend that out. This is actually really weird. I feel like I'm like painting my body. And as you can see, I'm slowly getting oranger and oranger. And then once my face and neck is done, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my body with the mitt. So that is my fake tan all done. As you can see, it's a really lovely color. Honestly, after you've been in this for eight hours, it's such, it's like an olive tan. Like it looks quite crazy right now, but I promise you when it develops, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go and throw something baggy on and avoid sitting on anything white, cream or gray for the next few hours. Um, and then I need to start packing. I hate packing so much. Oh, so I am in the process of packing. So luckily we've been given an itinerary so I can kind of plan for each day. So I've got an airport outfit here. I'm gonna wear an oversized black hoodie, cycling shorts, a little white t-shirt underneath and trainers. So the next little outfit I've got is for the boat trip. So I've got my little flower hair clip. I've got a satin shirt and a white swimsuit and some white shoes which are already in my suitcase. 
then we're going to a beach party so i'm gonna go for an all black kind of vibe so i've got this swimsuit it's really really high leg i love this it's so flattering because it's got this waistband here and this is from pretty little thing a little beach skirt which i showed you from boohoo i picked up this bag which is from rebellious fashion and then i've actually got some matching shoes for this bag they're like a black wedge so they're really really nice actually let me show you them so these are the shoes so they go so nicely with the bag and then i'm gonna wear big sunglasses glowy skin and then i've got some black and gold earrings and then i'm super excited to wear this dress this dress is from pretty little thing you might remember this from a haul a while back but i'm gonna wear this for our night out because i think it's just like super extra and i don't really ever dress up so i think this with hair down super glowy and then i've got some clear heels these are the heels so i'm actually gonna wear these with that dress because i think they'll just go really nicely together wow look at me i feel like we've been through a lot together in this vlog i feel like i've just looked bloody horrific to be completely honest but oh well it is what it is so i'm gonna spend the evening finishing packing i'm gonna go and see my mum um because i think it's the last time i'm gonna get to see her before i go away i always get a little bit anxious like leaving mum and dad i don't know why i'm always like goodbye i feel like this is some kind of farewell like all day i've been thinking right i need to end the vlog i need to say goodbye i feel like this is like a farewell like i'm leaving youtube forever goodbye it's definitely not that don't worry i'll be back on your screens on sunday um with the croatia vlog actually so that's kind of cool so this vlog will end and then the croatia vlog will start so i like that it's satisfying you're all probably sick of seeing me on your screen because when i was just editing this vlog it was nearly an hour long so this is probably going to be my longest video on youtube ever um <laughs> so thank you so much if you are still here and you've watched the vlog the full way through i really hope you've enjoyed it um i feel like there's been a lot going on but not which is really really strange but nevertheless i hope you've enjoyed it let's see how how well Gemma gets on going to beach parties and going out the house oh jesus pray for me everyone pray for me if you are worried about my well-being going out into the real world then keep up with me on the insta stories but yeah i will see you on sunday with the croatia vlog love you all so much thank you so much for watching have the most amazing week and i'll see you really soon bye i miss you already goodbye forever feeling very unsettled feeling very unsettled that i'm not in my house all week i need to get a life don't i anyway i love you all bye you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who